Camelopardalis is a large but faint constellation of the northern sky representing a giraffe. The constellation was introduced in 1612 or 1613 by Petrus Plancius. Some older astronomy books give Camelopardalis or Camelopardus as alternative forms of the name. But the version recognized by the International Astronomical Union matches the genitive form, seen suffix to most of its key stars. First attested in English in 1785, the word Camelopardalis comes from Latin, and it is the romanization of the Greek. Although Camelopardalis is the 18th largest constellation, it is not a particularly bright constellation, as the brightest stars are only of fourth magnitude. In fact, it only contains four stars brighter than magnitude 5.0. Camelopardalis is in the part of the celestial sphere facing away from the galactic plane. Accordingly, many distant galaxies are visible within its borders. The annual May meteor shower Camelopardalids from Comet 209P, Lineaar have a radiant in Camelopardalis. Camelopardalis is not one of Ptolemy 48 constellations in the Almagest. It was created by Petrus Plancius in 1613. It first appeared in a globe designed by him and produced by Peter van den Kier. One year later, Jakob Bartsch featured it in his atlas. Johannes Hevelius depicted this constellation in his works which were so influential that it was referred to as Camelopardali Heavily or abbreviated as Camelopard. Part of the constellation was hived off to form the constellation Cyrus Valens, the Flying Squirrel, by William Croswell in 1810. However this was not taken up by later cartographers, 